So uh, tell us your name and what you do. Hi, my name is Shane Parfit. I'm a product manager here at AMD in Toronto. Okay, and what are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to show you how to bring 3D entertainment into your home with AMD HD 3D technology. All right, uh, entertainment like what? Uh, lots of stuff. Uh, there's immersive 3D gaming, viewing of 3D photos, 3D movies, but uh, today I'm going to focus on Blu-ray 3D playback. All right. Uh, well, okay, what do we need to make this happen? Well, AMD has taken an open approach to Stereo 3D, so what that means is there are many options to choose from uh, in both hardware and software for setting up one of these systems. It's all kind of detailed on our website. Oh, okay. I mean, I can show the URL at the bottom of the screen? Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Okay, done. Uh, all right, so, I mean, is it easy to set up? Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. uh, can you set it up pretty fast? Yeah, I'd say so. How fast? I've never really timed it, but... Um, okay, well, you have 60 seconds. Oh, go! Okay, so... Um, Again, what you need is a 3D TV that's HDMI 1.4a compliant. It should come with its own glasses, but if not, you can buy them from the TV vendor. You need an AMD Radeon HD 6000 series graphics card with an HDMI output. Uh, you also need a Blu-ray drive that's installed in a pretty decent PC here and an HDMI cable to hook it all together. You also need uh, Blu-ray player software from ArcSoft, Cyberlink, or Corel. Uh, we have ArcSoft Total Media Theater 5 installed on this machine here. Okay. 30 seconds, keep it coming. Okay, so there's just a, um, just a few things you need to set up in software to get it going. Uh, under AV Center, make sure hardware acceleration is being used. Uh, in general settings, always play, uh, play Blu-ray 3D in 3D mode. And the viewing environment, you can see that it's automatically detected AMD HD 3D technology and the HDMI 1.4 display. 50 seconds. So, uh, all, we, uh, all we have to do now is just uh, pop in the Blu-ray into the drive, and it should come up automatically. We press play, and we're ready to go. Okay, so it's uh, detecting the disc now. Uh, it's gonna, the display is going to do a quick mode change. It's telling us to put on our 3D glasses, meaning it's automatically detected the 3D signal. So we'll put those on. And uh, the disc has popped up. We'll just uh, maximize, and we can press play, and we're ready to enjoy the show.